Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize the navigation menu of your website. So here's what you want to do. Go to your admin panel, and the very first thing you have to do is the following. Scroll down to where it says Thesis, click on Site Options, and we need to turn on the proper navigation menu. So we, turn, we clicked on Thesis Site Options, now under select, see where it says navigation menu, select menu type, click on this plus sign and click on WordPress nav menu. Then go ahead and click on save. And now after hitting save, all you have to do at this point is click on select menu type again. Click here, that question mark. What I just now clicked to show you, I clicked on this question mark here and then now that takes me here to menus alright and now in this menu section this is where we're going to customize our navigation menu just to show you just to show you by the way let's say um, where if I told you to click on the question mark that was the first time other than that you don't have to be in the site options anymore and definitely don't touch anything else that I don't talk about in the tutorials this because this could mess up your site so leave everything as is except for what I reference so we close that out now if you ever want to access the menu section again that we're about to go over it's going to be under appearance and you have menus this applies to your navigation menu so anyhow here we go now let's go about let's go about adding your menu by default on your home page when you hit refresh the one that we had in there for you is still going to be there showing up until you create your own custom menu alright so here's how you do that the first thing you want to do is right here where it says menu name just enter your menu name so I'll, I'll call this uh, my main menu and then what you gotta do after that is click on create menu on the right hand side and now what that does is that creates the menu so now see what we gotta do now is we need to now choose the pages and the categories and we can even make custom links show up there I'll go over all that shortly but before we do that we have to do this first. See where it says theme locations, primary menu, click the drop down and put my menu. Now click save. And what that does, that now activates our menu to show up here. So when I hit refresh, see how there's no more menu? Well that's because we activated this new menu and we haven't put any items in here yet. So here's what you have to first do. First do the following you want to enter your home page as the first link so here's what you do custom links just simply enter your home page so I'll call this one my home page dot com label name it home and then just click on add to menu and now I'm gonna go over title attribute in a minute but here we go that's the first thing we did so after that we click on save menu just to show you on this tutorial and let's go back to the home page when I click refresh, you'll see home will appear right here. And there's our first there's our first navigation button. So now we want to add the rest of them. Here's what you do. You find the pages you want to add. I like to do I like to click on view all and then just go to all the pages you could find, all right? And after, so I just realized when you click on view all the home one will already be there so you know what I explained about the custom links do the following just remove this and always start with right here pages view all click home first and foremost now click add to menu that will put the proper home one there and it will automatically put your URL the way it's supposed to be there okay and now after that just find the rest of the pages so let's say I want my about page contact page deal of the month and search for homes I check box I check them all off and I click add to menu now and you're gonna see that's gonna add all the pages here when I click on save on the right side and now I go back to my home page I hit refresh here we're gonna see them all show up here now there's a few things I wanna show you sometimes you don't wanna have just a page on your home page sometimes you might wanna have a category here or maybe a custom link, maybe a link that goes to an outside website, let's say. Or you want to have drop down menus. I'm going to show you how to do all that now. Okay, so here we are. Um, let's now talk about categories. Let's say you have your special category. 
you know, let's go to view all. Let's say you have your how's the market category, right? Let's say you want that in your navigation bar. Well, all you do is click on view all, click on how's the market, and click on add to menu. Plain and simple, just like it worked for the pages. And now we have a category here, how's the market, so when I click on save, and I go back to refresh, we're going to see how's the market come up here. But this one actually goes to our category versus an individual page, which is perfect. So now, now that's pretty much all the main features of what you could do. Now let me go over the extra stuff. Uh, real quick, just to explain what custom links do. Let's say, I'm just going to throw this out as an example, but you would never do it. Let's just say you're, you're going to link to your outside website. Let's pretend your outside website was Google. Uh, you'd be a billionaire and luckiest person in the world. But let's just say your outside website was Google, right? And you want it to say Google. Just to show you that you could add custom links into your navigation menu, you would click on Add to Menu. And now, although this isn't your link, when you click on, notice that it's going to Google and it has a different reference. When you click on Save Menu, what at least happens once it finally saves? Okay, there it goes. Menu's been updated. So once that happens, at least we're going to see the Google line come up here, and there it is. And notice when I click on it, it's going to take me to Google. Now you wouldn't really want to do that, of course. You don't really want to do that unless unless it's linking to one of your specific sites, or maybe one of your stealth sites, or something like that then that would make sense but don't link to outside sites in your main navigation unless it's yours specifically or here's the other caveat I would say um, this now leads to the next point anyhow sub menus right so let's say you have about page and you you're like oh I want um, I want this to have a drop down menu well here's how you do that all you gotta do is just go to about choose the page you want as a drop down let's pretend you want the contact page to be a drop down menu of about all you do is just hover this in see how I indent it see so now see how that's indented and let's just say I want I want deal of the month to be part of that as well see how now it's indented so basically it's saying about page has these two as sub pages and I click on save menu now and watch how it looks on your home on your home page we click here I hit refresh these two will disappear but now when I hover over about they're there as drop down menus you see that so that's how your drop down menus work. The other thing I want to explain, if you are going to have outside links, you generally want to have them as drop down menus. So let's just pretend you had a link to Google, which you wouldn't, but let's say this was your stealth site. Make this a drop down of something. So maybe it's a drop down of your how's the market. And then now we click on save. So now when I go on your site and I click when I click refresh and I hover over how's the market that's going to show my the Google link alright but here's a couple things now about further customization this is important so you have to watch these right now okay you can change the text of these terms so you could change the text and notice when I hover over it that there's no but there's no text that comes up you could modify that as well so here's what you want to do here's what I mean by that first let's say our let's say our about page right you click on this drop down menu and let's say if you're like, I don't want it to say about, I want it to say, you know, my team or our team, let's say, right? Well, all you gotta do is under navigation label, change it to say our team. And when you click on save, here's what's gonna happen. It's now called our team. It tells you what the original was anyways. But then now when we go here, instead of saying about, when I refresh, it's gonna say our team. There it goes. So you can customize the text there. Now let's go back to the menus. And now notice that when I actually when I hover over our team, see how no text comes up, no extra little text box. Well, that's because we haven't set anything yet, and this is important for usability. And arguably, it does help for SEO in some some way, but I would still do it anyhow. It really is important under title attribute. Enter this. So like, meet our um, top selling real estate team. Let's just say that that's the text you wanted to say for our team. So when I click on now, when I click on save menu now, and I go back to the page, when I'm hovering it, no text, but now when I hit refresh, watch what happens. I hit refresh, and now when I hover our team, see how it says meet our top selling real estate team, that little box? You want to do that for all your buttons because you want when, when a visitor hovers over your button, you want that extra title attribute, which we just filled out here under title attribute you want that to tell them what is on the other side of the page 
Okay, so make sure that you fill out a title attribute on all of your on all of your uh, postings or all of your pages that you choose in the navigation. And for your home page, here's what I would do for your title attribute. Do the following. Look look what's think of what's your main city and what's your main keyword. So if you're for instance this is Toronto, so what I would do for for the title attribute here, I would do Toronto real estate and homes for sale. So for what what you would do is use this exact same title attribute, but instead of saying Toronto, replace it with your city, San Francisco, Newport Beach, Crone Del Mar, Los Angeles. That's too broad actually, but you know, uh, Beverly Hills, whatever the case is, replace it with whatever your city is, but say your city name with the words real estate and homes for sale and then save that menu. This is for your home page link, for your home link. So now when we go here and I hit refresh, when someone hovers over home, it says Toronto Real Estate and Homes for Sale. So that takes them back to your home page. All right? So that's what you want to do. Make sure obviously it says not Toronto, make it specific to your city. And that's everything for using your nav menus. All right? Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But a couple key pointers just to refresh before you go. You can make extra categories or extra nav menus. All right. So let's say you're like, okay, this is my main one, but one day you want to have a different one. See this plus sign? You could click on the plus sign, and you could create a new menu. So I'll call this my second menu, my second main menu. But it's going to be a whole different menu. So now when I click on create menu, what I could do is let's just say I put a, a bunch of different uh, page let's say I put tag sitemap search for homes and I add that to the menu right and obviously I didn't put a home one just for the sake of this example but notice I click on that I click save and here's what you could do as an option see the drop down menu here under the under primary menu you could choose which one you want to be your main menu so I click on my second main menu now I click save what that does is instead of deleting my old menu it just I'm basically having multiple menus but I'm choosing I'm telling Google which one I want to have as my main one I'm not Google I'm telling your website which one you want to have as your main one so see how primary menu is my second main menu now when I hit refresh here it's gonna be that second one just with the links I have set for that obviously this is a bad menu because it doesn't have home it has no title attributes and everything or sub or sub um, sub uh, menus but still you could make multiple ones if you want to try them out without having to delete old ones alright now to delete a menu simply click on delete menu as you see here it'll say it'll confirm it you're good to go you might get this error that's okay just hit refresh after you see that error and then you're all fine now after you delete a menu if it was set as the main one you have to go back to primary menu and choose your main one and click save now just to refresh your memory on the last 30 seconds here on all your postings choose the custom text you want to have for your home one keep it named home for your title attribute your city name real estate and homes for sale make that your title attribute now for the all the rest of yours choose a custom navigation label if you want to make sure you for sure put a title attribute that lets the visitor know what is on the other side of the page and then of course to do sub menus just do this as just drag it indent it below the one you want alright and you could take them out simply by just dragging them out you see I'm dragging them out so now those are no longer sub menus alright so that's everything you need to know about uh, creating custom menus in your WordPress system if you want to have custom links use this and that's everything categories tag or pages it's all straightforward so go to facebook.com forward slash tizish the way you see tizish spelled here and ask me any questions if you have them there all right well good luck have fun using this tool and take care